Yo, what's goody YTBC? What's good, fake fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So, you know, this weekend we got a big major unification fight coming up between Danny Garcia, the WBC champ, and Welterweight versus the WBA champ at Welterweight, Keith One Time Thurman. So, you know, this um, video right here is just basically, a, you know, you know, just, uh, you know, some visuals about, you know, the best and actually all the um, unification fights we've had ed ever since the alphabet belt's been formed, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm going to start off with this first fight right here, as you see, Sugar Ray Leonard versus um, Tommy the Hitman Hearns, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, this fight, I believe, was like 1980, you know what I mean? And uh, this was a great fight, you know, um, Sugar Ray Leonard, WBC champ. Um, he beat um, Wilfred Benitez, you know what I mean, um, you know, to win his first world title. And um, he was unifying against Tommy Hearns, who was also undefeated, um, who was coming in again with this WBA strap that um, that he won versus, um, what's his name, uh, Pepino Cuevas from Mexico, you know what I mean? He knocked him out viciously, you know what I mean? Had that man doing the stanky leg and... You know, just the man frozen like it was a moment in time, man, when he knew he got sparked out by Tommy Hearns. That's how bad Pepino Cuevas got hit, you know. So this was a great fight, and you know the results are already. One of the best fights in boxing history. Um, Sugar Ray Leonard comes from behind to win in the 14th round by stoppage, you know what I mean, in a fight that uh, he was down on the cards. And um, the next one we have is a fight right here between... Um, this guy they called um, Milton McCory, you know what I mean, from Detroit, Michigan, a guy in the crunk gym. You see um, Emmanuel Stewart right there next to him, you know what I mean? That's his trainer taking off his um, robe. And this fight right here was Milton McCory versus um, Donald Curry, you know what I mean? Milton McCory was the WBC champ. Um, how he get the belt? He beat a dude by the name of Colin Jones, a guy from UK. I think he was from Wales or something. You know what I mean? And actually, he beat him in the rematch because the first fight was a draw. You know what I'm saying? And actually, the second fight was a pretty close co uh, controversial decision. You know what I mean? So that's how uh, McCory became the WBC champ. And uh, Donald Curry, he was uh, at this juncture, he was. Um, an IBF and a WBA champion. I mean, he had the WBA title when he beat, um, man, he beat some dude, some Asian guy from Korea. I, f I don't remember his name. I'm not even too familiar with the guy, you know what I mean? But uh, that dude, he beat the Asian dude. That was for the WBA strap. And, you know, side note, you know, I would mention that um, Donald Curry got the IBF strap when he beat... Um, uh, what's his name? Um, in a rematch, uh, Marlon Starling, you know what I mean? But uh, that particular fight, you know, the, the IBF strap was vacant, you know what I mean? So basically Marlon Starling was bringing nothing to the table, you know what I mean? Winner, win, the winner wins all the titles. We'll have three titles, you know what I'm saying? Or was it two at the time? You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, Marlon Starling basically had no belt. So if, you know, by chance if the fight was a draw... You know, you know, Donald Curry would still be going home with his belts while the man um, McCory would still have, I'm sorry, Marlon, Marlon Starlin would have none, you know what I mean? So that's why I didn't include that fight as in, in uh, one of the welterweight unifications, you know what I'm saying? But um, this one right here is, you know what I mean? And Donald Curry fucked this dude up, man. He knocked him out, I believe, in like the second round, you know? All right? And um, let's see. The next fight we have at... Um, that we have at uh in um in chronological order too mind you you know what i mean this fight we have right here between um maurice blocker who was the ibf champ versus um the wbc champ no maurice blocker was the wbc champ excuse me you know what i mean versus um Simon Brown, the Jamaican, you know what I mean, based out of D.C., just like Maurice Blocker, you know what I mean, based out of D.C., you know, and uh, Maurice Blocker, um, he had a WBC belt. Who he beat for that belt? Um, I believe he beat Marlon Starlin for that belt. Yeah, he beat Marlon Starlin for that belt, you know what I'm saying? And um, um, the guy, Simon Brown, he had the IBF strap. Who he fight for that belt? 
Um, damn, who we fight for that belt? Damn, it's somebody I should know. Damn, I even forgot. I even forgot, you know what I mean? But the man Simon Brown had numerous defenses of that IBF strap before this unification, you know what I mean? And these two guys were actually friends, you know what I mean? Maurice Blocker and um, Simon Brown, you know what I mean? I believe, who, who did Simon Brown win that title from? I know he lost the WBC title that he beat um, Blocker for the, um, what's that guy's name? Man, Arturo Gotti's um, Arturo Gotti's trainer. Damn, I even forgot his name too, man. Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank, man. But you know what I mean. That guy. Um, damn, I forgot who Simon Brown beat for that title. Simon Brown was actually based out of Germantown, Maryland. You know what I mean, which is a suburb outside of DC, probably about half an hour, thirty-five minutes out of DC. You know what I mean. Um, but Simon Brown, he had one loss, um, and that was also the Marlon Starling at this juncture, you know what I mean, when he fought, um, I want to say it was the Jorge Vaca, but you know, don't quote me on that, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, those. The, so that's um, one of the two unification fights, you know what I mean, What um, the first three unification fights we've had in the... Um, well, we've had the alphabet belts, you know what I mean? And um, let's see which other ones we have. Let me see which other ones we have. I know I'm, I'm running out of time, but... Uh, Hold tight. All right. This is a fight right here. This was a unification fight. This was the fourth unification fight we've had in the alphabet bodies. And this was um, WBC and WBA unification. WBC champion um, Felix, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Oscar De La Hoya versus... Um, the WBA champ who was um, Felix Trinidad, you know what I mean? Felix Trinidad had that IBF strap. He be, um, actually beat Maurice Blocker for that IBF strap. And um, he knocked him out severely, you know what I mean? Brutal knockout, you know? He made a statement that night, you know what I mean? And um, De La Hoya had a WBC strap that he won from Pernell Whitaker. You know what I'm saying? A controversial decision, by the way. But that's how he got um, his strap. And this was a classic fight, you know what I mean? A classic fight. The man, um, De La Hoya, you know, arguably he got robbed in that fight. You know what I mean? I thought he did enough to win, you know. But, um, you know, the man started running at the end of the, at the, end of the um, championship rounds. And it cost him, you know what I mean? Because the judges didn't take kindly to that. And he lost his title, and Felix Trinidad became the unified champion that night. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. The next unification fight we have um, is a fight right here. Classic fight, you know what I mean? Classic fight. We have between a uh, big upset, you know, Ricardo Mayorga, WBA champ. The man um, had beat... Um, who'd he beat? He beat the guy from Guyana, a guy named Andrew Lewis, you know what I mean? And uh, that's how he got his WBA belt fighting against the WBC champ who had the biggest upset at that time and propelled him to the pound-for-pound pound list by beating the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter on the planet, Shane Mosley at the time, you know what I mean? So that, and, and he beat him twice, you know, even beat him in the rematch, you know? So that's how this guy, um, Vernon Forrest, became the lineal champion at um, WBC, you know? Not, not just WBC. He actually, WBC became the lineal champ, and this was a unification, WC, WBC and WBA. And the man Ricardo Mayorga did the unthinkable, and he upset the man, um, 
uh, Vernon Forrest, you know what I mean? And actually even they had a rematch, which, which was a close fight in my opinion, could have gone either way. But you know, the man Ricardo Mayorga, that was just basically his claim to fame, you know what I mean? Winning that unification battle, you know what I'm saying? What's the other fight we have, a unification? Only great unifications, actually in chronological order, like I said, you know what I mean? Nothing more, nothing less, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, my editing skills ain't all that, but you know, it's all about the message, you know what I mean? The next unification fight we have is between Corey Spinks, you know what I mean? Corey Spinks and Ricardo Mayorga, you know? Ricardo Mayorga had, uh, I believe he had... um. The WBC and the WBA and the lineal title. You see all them straps right there, you know what I mean? You see this guy right here, he, this black dude right here. He, be in, uh, he used to be in Mike Tyson's corner. I forgot his name. But anyways, Ricardo Mayorga is bringing two belts to the table, fighting against uh, the IBF champion, Corey Spinks. Corey Spinks beat some Italian dude that he had fought twice. I forgot dude's name. Michelle, somebody starts with an M, you know what I mean? And that dude... Um, um, beat um, Corey Spinks, then Corey Spinks beat him in the rematch to claim the IBF strap, you know, and uh, Corey Spinks, I'm um, sorry, Mayorga, he had, like I said, you know, in the previous uh, fight, he had two straps that he won, uh, he had the WBC strap that he won from, um, uh, in the unification fight, from, um, versus, um, Vernon Forrest, you know what I mean, so that, that was a great fight, you know what I mean, and you know, the man, uh, Corey Spinks, became the undisputed champion, not just a unified champ, undisputed when he beat this guy, um, Ricardo Mayorga, on this particular night, you know what I mean? Real good fight, man. These were good old days of good boxing, man. Good, fun, you know, unifications, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back unifications, you know, because that unification for Mayorga was right after... Um, he beat, uh, you know what I'm saying, he beat Vernon Forrest. Then he went into a big unification right after that, you know what I mean? All right, let's see which other unifications we have. So since that unification, the next unification we had, ladies and gents, boxing heads and fight fans around the world, the next unification we had, which took a while to, uh, to make, you know what I'm saying, was um, this particular one right here we about to get into. And that was Floyd Mayweather versus um, uh, Marcus Maidana, you know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather, of course, had a WBC and the lineal title, you know what I'm saying? That uh, the WBC title he beat off of um, Victor Ortiz, you know what I mean? And um, uh, the man Marcus Maidana had a, a WBA belt that he was bringing to the table that he beat... Um, uh, he beat Adrian Broner for you know what I mean. So this was a unification for Floyd uh, in the late stage of his of his career, and you know a lot of people didn't give him credit for that. But you know Floyd was making unification fights uh, often at in his later end of his career. You know what I mean. You check it with um, with uh, what's his name, Cannoli. You know what I'm saying. They fought for the 154 titles. You know what I'm saying. And then also Maidana and Mayweather. And then also Maidana, I'm sorry, um, the final unification we've had um, in boxing, the last one that we've had, um, which was it? It was this one right here. The last one we had was Floyd Mayweather versus Manny, Manny, Manny Pacquiao, you know what I mean? And the last, that's the last time we've had a unification fight, you know what I mean? And we all know the results, what happened. Floyd wins um, comfortably on points. Fight goes the distance, you know what I mean? And um, it was the biggest grossing fight as far as making money in boxing history, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, those are the unification fights, man. I just wanted to shed some light on so the fights, um, basically in chronological order, you know what I mean? Also, another side note, there should have been a unification fight between um, Oscar De La Hoya and, um, and Ike Quarte. I believe that was like in 98, them times, maybe 99. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, the man, uh, what's his name? Um, Ike Quarte had the WBA belt, but he, um, he was inactive for a while, you know what I mean? So he got stripped of the title, or he, or he maybe he relinquished it, you know what I mean? And um, uh, he had the WBA title while the man 
Um, De La Hoya had the WBC title, so that particular fight, it didn't end up being uh, a unification fight, but it could have and should have been, you know what I mean? But it had, um, you know, more glory to that particular fight, which is a, a, a classic, you know what I mean? So, you know, these are fights, like I said, in chronological order of all the alphabet belts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, know, we, the, you know, the first um, champions we had uh, in the alphabet um, um, belts was guys like, for welterweight, was guys like Jose Napolis, you know what I mean? But Jose Napolis didn't fight in any unification fights because he was already the undisputed world champion by the time the alphabet belts got formed, you know what I mean? So, you know, this was, um, you know, just a little... Um, Run down on our unification fights, you know what I mean? In light of uh, the big fight coming up this weekend, um, Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman. So you guys let me know what you think about um, these fights, you know what I mean? And if you've seen any of them, let me know which one is actually your favorite unification fight we've ever had at um, Welterweight. All right, B-Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. I'm going to catch y'all on the next vid. Peace.